Hi. I am still working on recovering from my binge eating disorder and I've decided, you know, this can no longer be on the back burner for me. It's just can't. It's an, you know, it's stopping me from living my life. So um, I am seeking to start therapy again with, I'm looking for a therapist who's um, experienced with dealing with binge eating disorder specifically. So I'm working on that, getting a consultation with that. Um, also, I've decided to just take things step by step with this recovery. And I think the best thing right now to do, the most realistic thing to do is to start with aiming to be binge free day by day. Um, I'm going to do my best, but I'm going to document the highs and lows regardless. A lot of the um, resources and the therapy will be online, online based, but I've been learning a technique that I can talk to you guys about another time. Um, I want to give it more of a go, but it's basically I've been reading, rereading the um, the binge code, which is actually really good. It is you know guys, a lot of people will ask me like, does your boyfriend support you? He does, but he doesn't understand food addiction. He has no idea what he's dealing with. Like he doesn't really get it, you know? Another important thing that I have to do is really sit down and have a talk with him about my medical conditions like in full like read through these medical reports with him because he doesn't understand binge eating disorder and I didn't really take the time to properly explain my condition to him so I think that um that's one of the really big walls I hit with having this issue is that trying to make people understand. I think he's there for emotional support if I need it, but he doesn't know how to proactively be like, okay, you know, like it's not, he's just not that type of person. He doesn't have any experience with that. And I think that's all I'm going to say because we really do just prefer to keep our relationship out of the public eye. And I'm sure you can imagine why. People want to see you, Sam. Oh. Hi, big boy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. I did to, this was collecting dust. I had bought this and I thought, you know what? I'm going to really give it a try. And so far, guys, this has been the most helpful thing in my journey so far. This is, this is so amazing. Like, this is a Bible. You need to purchase this. I would highly recommend it. There's so many things that make sense and it's, tailored specifically to people who have eating disorders. I don't have time to like go over everything there, but I haven't finished the whole book. I'm about halfway done. And even in that, um, there's the, you know, the Zen 10 technique where when you have an urge to binge, it explains where the physiological, you know, that fight or flight response comes from. And if you just, when you have an urge, you have to take Zen 10, you take 10 minutes, and do breathing exercises and just, you know, picture yourself as this strong person. There's all, there's an actual technique to it. The one thing that made the most sense for me in this whole thing was that the diets do not work. So that she, this, this author said, if you undereat, you're going to overeat. So for, for people who, um, are binge eaters and get the urge to binge, and it's so true because anytime I do these juice cleanses, anytime I do these fasts, I eat and then some. I just go crazy and I'm like ravenous and I'm like mindless. It's just so mindless. And I get it now because your body is meant to eat. Your body is um, like this. is. I'm going to have to do this until I can get a grip on the eating disorder. And I know... Um, yes, I'm getting help with the emotional part of things as the, the psychological side of things as well for the physiological and the, the whole way I'm eating, um, diets don't work. If you're depriving your body, um, of a food group, like low carb, et cetera, um, the, the brain, for example, functions off of carbohydrates, according to this book. And, um, they suggest eating six times a day, every you know, three hours or so, smaller meals or, or three meals and uh, smaller snacks. And each time you eat, it should uh, to be fully satisfied so you don't get the urge. This is a binge away type of diet that's tailored to 
make you not want to binge and to make you feel satisfied, but still eat like a normal person. Eat nutritiously because if you're not eating nutritiously and you're lacking in your diet, your body is going to one another time um i want to give it more of a go but it's basically i've been reading rereading the um the binge code which is actually a really good book for somebody who's overcome their binge eating disorder and they have some techniques in there that, that i find helpful um or have in the past but you know it's something that i'm going to have to live with forever and it will become it could become manageable but i don't think it will ever fully leave me there's always now i am still eating the meal kits I'm not going to call them diet box because I hate that word, but I'm going to call it meal kit. So I am still eating them. But what I've done is I've incorporated um, substitution, not substitutions, but uh, supplemental foods. So, you know, for example, with the salads, I'll add some cheese, maybe some egg. Um, I did read also in the binge code that if your body is lacking nutrition, it's going to keep being hungry because it's trying to get the nutrients. It's trying to get you to eat those nutrients it's missing. So I am trying to do that. And, you know, it's really hard. The mental aspect of it especially and just the hunger you know i feel like oh my gosh i'm hungry again you know <laughs> so but i have to really like take that that break you know i try to wait at least 10 minutes between one of those urges when i get the urge i try to wait 10 minutes one thing popcorn with butter and a bit of salt i have some grape leaves i put in containers here some wheat toast for a toast eggs we have so many eggs because even though i'm not the hugest fan they are very satisfying with protein and fats and um, yeah, I add this like partly skim mozzarella to like a lot of things, um, salads for example, because it here I have some potatoes. I love potatoes. They're so filling. They're full of fiber and vitamin C. And I have a lot of onions and garlic for flavor and stuff and some bananas, which those are just a few things that I'm going to use as snacks and supplements for my meal kit. All right, so for breakfast, I'm having a breakfast sandwich provided by my meal kit. It was actually quite delicious. It has a like multigrain roll that was actually really fresh and soft. And then after breakfast, I took my medications. The Advil is for my back pain. Simbacort is for my asthma. And the Cyprolex is for um, my mental health conditions. All right, so I'm going to have my lunch from my diet box. And as you can see, I'm just supplementing some things. Um, I have a little water. So this is the salad that came with it. It looks like some kind of green, maybe spinach and pomegranate with some vinaigrette. I added some mozzarella. All right, so for a snack, I'm gonna have two grape leaves, this little packet of nacho cheese tortilla chips and a glass of Coke. Usually I just drink almost the whole bottle in one sitting, at least half. So I'm just gonna have a- All right, so Sala brought home this side dish called nahi. It's um, chickpeas and like uh, water and salt. It's a spinach pomegranate salad with um, I think it's not balsamic, it's like a pomegranate molasses vinaigrette and some, I think these are chicken coriander meatballs with basmati rice. Yum, 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 yum. You have only half the bag and give the other half to Salah. So, all right. That's fine. When I'm craving chocolate bar, I like these little portioned ones instead of a huge one. Sure, Jan. These feel like you're finishing the food because that's a big thing for me. Like, I feel like I have to finish the food. It's a weird compulsion. So this actually helps because I am finishing it, but it's like portioned out. I think I'm going to tomorrow. When I want to go to bed this early? What's my attachment? Have you ever had fluff? It's so good. That's not actual food beezer. Wait. Hmm. I have the munchies, so what do you think, Danny? Poverty version of Lachma. I need to get my life together. What is marshmallow made of? Sugar. Egg white. Sugar and egg white? No. I'm a diabetic. 
Are you? 